going after television, not so much iPod. And um, so came up with this idea to say, why not make an application that simply goes out, grabs video from YouTube, converts it to the proper format for the iPod, and does it all in one fell swoop. And you know, once I had the design, I basically handed it over to Jesse, and Jesse wrote all of the code for this program. And he learned it, he learned it all on his own. He got no help from us because I, we don't know it. Um, we know Java. We could help him with that. And we, we mainly were in charge of uh, testing. So every time he came up with something, he'd send it to us. And I was notoriously great at <laughs> crashing his program all the time. It worked for everyone, but it didn't work for me. And if it worked for me, then we know it was a go. So. And Forrest joined us. This is his first year here. He's from Shanghai. China, and he, this is his first year, and he's in my current advanced placement class. Um, but he showed so much promise in his programming talent that I thought he would be a really good person to join with us because he picks things up enormously quickly and you know is, is very on top of it. So right now, the way it's working is Jesse's handling mainly the Mac version. Alex is working on, Alex and Forrest are working on the Windows version, and Forrest is the maintainer of the website and all that is going on there. Alex has all the press stuff. Yeah. Alex no, is the, no, right, no, Alex no. is the press guy. Okay. So they all have their own, they all have their special jobs that they that they do, and they all do it very, very well. The classroom, maybe twice a week, to check in with Ms. Hines and we get assignments from Bill. And then we'll go back and, and during study hall we'll start coding maybe, you know, um, some nights I'll, I'll be coding for, you know, four hours and then nights I'll, I'll check my code for half an hour, you know. Mm -hmm. It's very sporadic in the coding process. Sometimes you just, you'll just be in this for a day straight, you know. Sometimes when you're in the right mindset, it's incredible how much work you can do in just a little time. Yeah. You know, originally the name of the program was Fetch Fliv. <laughs> I and mean, then Flip doesn't have any vowels in it. <laughs> and, and that's because yeah. that's what we're doing. We're going out to YouTube, and the, the, the actual video file is called a flash video file. Uh -huh. It has an extension .flv. So we were going out and fetching FLVs. So that's what we called it. It was, it was kind of a, a little internal code name I used for one class, which came out as the entire program and everything, and it's just embarrassingly bad name. <laughs> There's no way. We could go anywhere with a product named Fetchful. <laughs> um, it's a full YouTube browser in and of itself, so it's going to allow you to browse any for any video, download it to your iPod. Okay. So basically, how it works is from this one, you can search all of YouTube. You can search like you would on, on YouTube.com. You can um, search by categories. You can enter any URL you already know. It's it's very very seamless now. Um, we use the Google search algorithm, so I can search for a quick clip I know, uh, the dramatic prairie dog clip, and we're going to search. Just like on uh, YouTube.com. Yeah, the internet's a lot faster. You see that? Yeah. Okay. Now, again, just check it and you hit download. That's all there is to it. You're done from here on out. So, uh, grabbing the info, downloading, instantly starts to convert it. It already finished downloading. Now it's just finished converting, and here it is in iTunes. Just a couple of seconds, one click of a button. It's all there for you. Wow. Yeah, and as soon as you plug your iPod in. It says, do you, want to, do you want to move all your movies onto your iPod? You just say yes. Yep. It brings it all over. Yep. You ask, will I be able to download, use yeah. this program to download from a site like MTV or yeah. maybe Daily Motion or yeah. uh, Meta Cafe? Cafe. Yeah. There are a ton of video sites out there. Sure. Right. Um, the pro version is going to allow you to download videos from all of those sites in addition to YouTube. And we want to keep the YouTube version, we're always going to keep it free. Do you expect that the pro version may come out? That'll be a couple months. Okay. A couple months. Not, not too long. No, not too long. And would it be called Tubal Plus or something? I think <laughs> we'll call it, we haven't decided, probably Tubal Pro or something yeah, along yeah. those lines. Um, we, we could have another contest, of course, guys. <laughs> yes. no. Right, but our, our first priority, I think, before we do the, the Plus is, or is the getting Pro, the Windows version. Is getting the Windows yeah. version right. out. We, we want that's that was going to be my other question, too. Yeah. When does the Windows version come that's, out? That's, we're, we're hoping, hoping for soon. A, yeah. a couple months. Uh, we don't okay. have an exact timeline, but we are looking bef you know, before summer. Oh, certainly. It's, it's incredible the publicity we got from one meter. All, all the people in the booths around us with their little one meter booths kept coming over saying, what are you oh, guys yeah, yeah. doing? You guys have all these people around you all the time. Like half the developers from that side of the conference came over to talk to me at some point. Wow. It, it, we, we generated quite a wave. Wow.
Okay, he went and roped everyone in. Sending cards to everyone. And I like send like about 3,000 cards. And like, oh yeah, everyone is is like liking this program. And like if anyone who has question, I just put them to Jesse, Alex, who are pro of this program. And what I'm doing is like introduce the program to everyone. He stood out front and said, put YouTube on your iPod, YouTube on your iPod, YouTube on your iPod. Cards putting cards left and right like an octopus with yeah. arms yeah. everywhere. It was yeah. incredible how many people he gave these cards to. Yeah. He sent about 3,000 cards yeah. out at, the, at Macworld. Easily. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have people walking by who already had cards. They're like, no, we don't need it. <laughs> article about the best indie software at Macworld, mm -hmm. and ours is at the top of the list was one fellow's review and he wrote I saw a total at the show I was really impressed with the program and the three young guys that showed it to me but at the end of his comment he says I'll definitely buy the pro version when it comes out I was more impressed with this little utility than I was with Microsoft Office wow, <laughs> wow. That's wow. That's since we went to Mac world the we now I'm now reading 76,600 hits 76,600? Right. That's as of today? As of today. Up from about 500. <laughs> and so when, did you, was, <coughs> when was Tubal launched? The first day of the Macworld? The yeah. first day of Macworld. So that was uh, the February 15th. January. 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 January 15th. Right. We've been doing internal testing, like I've been giving it to other Cheshire students to find bugs and errors mm -hmm. and stuff, and it's really helped. Yeah. Because there's tons of bugs I would not have caught if other students hadn't noticed it. So before you went to Macworld, you had other students test it Just in yeah. Cheshire, yeah. Just As a general consensus, it spread like wildfire as soon as we uh, introduced it to school. Everyone loved it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, these guys are like rock stars now. Yeah. Rock stars now. Yeah. <laughs>